What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more One Piece. We are finally here. We are finishing Eni's Lobby, Water 7, greatest saga in One Piece so far. Today we're doing episodes 322, 325. The next ones are officially getting into Thriller Bark. I am super excited. Don't forget, we are live on Twitch, always watching these reactions. It's a vibe, so come on over and say what's up. Check out all the other social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Also, if you guys want up to eight episodes, soon going to be 16 episodes of early access on One Piece and the other shows, check out that Patreon. You also get the full length version. Links for everything are down below, like always. I'm not going to waste any more time. One Piece, episode 322. Let's do it. All right, okay. I was not expecting to start with Frankie Cheeks, but we are here. Episode 322. Let's get this done. I love how his big ass fist covers his big whoa pause that would be me loki i'd be like yo motherfucker put some pants on <laughs> okay <laughs> okay that might have to be the thumbnail right there <laughs> nothing should phase men resourceful even with only the skin on his back a lion that stands against the waves kind of a bar but i don't need you naked telling me that you know yeah I'll get your kids out of here cover their eyes at least <laughs> what a strong he's a man among men <laughs> iceberg did give us the okay he's the mayor what are you gonna smack his dingling with some spare hands Obviously, she's gonna go. She's gonna do some smacking or. Ooh. Ooh. They had to do like the five different cuts. Ooh. Imagine the other things Robin could do, though, in a more positive way, you know? Like, I cannot believe Robin's doing that, but. Should have been me. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. They're gonna come off. We're literally talking about Frankie's balls, just like tangerines. I wish I was Frankie for real, for real. Lucky back. everyone in chat, calm down. I want him to still be a man. <laughs> that would be me. Even though he's a per. Should have been me. Frankie's just like me, for real, for real. I cannot believe this is how we're getting him to join. My girl Robin, with the dose floors, had... What would that be, sir? What do you mean by that iceberg? Mm, so it can't be your dream ship unless you, you know, has to do go through the experiences, the journeys, you know. So then you got to go with them. You got to be a witness to all this greatness. In order to witness that fated day. So you have to go. As long as you do it resolutely as a man, you know. Ooh. There you go. Do it resolutely. I love my man Tom. For the mistakes he's made with the battleships was getting Tom in the situation he was in, you know. I can understand that being atonement, you know. I always fuck with Frankie. I love how Tom references I like your, as like your children, you know. They need someone to love them no matter what hardships or what they do, you know. Come on. 
A man's influence is still hitting you to these days, you know what I'm saying? So he's helping the people in the back streets, protecting the island. He's atoning for the things he did, you know? I like that. Something I never really noticed, you know? Yeah, you're kind of the public villain of the island, even though you're doing everything for the, the sake of it, you know? That's the big thing. Damn, man. It's literally been affecting him for God knows how many years. Trying to be a real man and not break down, but Iceberg's words are hitting him deep. Those are some great words coming from my man. Was that Zombie and the rest of the Frankie fam? Has what you need for your journey. <laughs> Everyone knows, bro. Everyone knows and is willing to admit it, but you, you want to get out of here, you know? You can tell they f with Frankie so much, you know? That's the real question here, Kokoro. You have many people that still love you. They just want you to love yourself. Robin still got a grip on him, Robin. Go, <laughs> you're gonna make him a woman. Tangerines, grapes, all sort of fruit references to, you know? Ow, grape! Don't say it again. What fruit is it now, apples? Half emotional, half physical pain. Now he's just... He stopped. That's slick of him. That is pretty slick, I won't lie. Shout out, Robin. That's why you can't stop the tears, uh-huh. Shout out, Frankie, man. We love you, man. Frankie is a real one, for sure. That's why I'm so excited to have him aboard the crew, you know? Look at them still being delinquents. <laughs> that cyborgness of them. Work for me. Come be my underling. Wow, look at a non square haired Mozu and Kiwi. Hey, they're risen, my man, Frankie. He was a huge influence on a lot of people's lives, you know. Even though he played public villain number one, he was such a positive influence on a lot of people. We're starting the Frankie family. <laughs> Mozu and Kiwi are so invested. Yahoo! All the good you've done. You were a real influence on these people, you know. They really are a family. That's the real question. But they also want you to be happy, and they know this is what you want, you know. I know Frankie's gonna leave with us, but I would love one day to come back and see Mozu, Kiwi, Zombie, Sodom, Gomorrah, the rest of them, you know. Iceberg. I want to see everyone. That's why we just saw Garb ship. <laughs> He's like, whoa. <laughs> He's like, you're still naked. Now we can give it back. Because we know you finally 
started self-admittingly. We know you know you want to come. Come on. I was just thinking that, Koku. I hated Frankie at the beginning of Water 7, especially with everything that happened with Usopp and the money. But now I love the, I love the guy. Speak your shit, man. That's official. Welcome aboard. The last crew member we got to join was Robin, and that was at the end of Alabasta. It's been like almost 200 episodes. You know Tom's proud of you. Everything you just did. Everything you've done resolutely as a man. You know Tom is proud of you. Yeah, I did too at first. I still love Polly. Another one I would love to come back and see. I mean, you can put them on while you walk, you know? Like, you don't need to have the cheeks shown everywhere, but hey, man. You do you, Frankie. You do you, my man. Without Tom, Iceberg, Frankie, Yokozuna, Kokoro, this island, the city of Water 7 would be nothing compared to what it is right now. Shout out Gali Law. Shout out Iceberg. Oh, Chimney Gombe. Yokozuna. Now they're all high piece of perf. Yeah, they deserve some rest. Shout out the. Mm. Shit gets me emotional, man. This was easily the best arc in a saga arc, everything in, a, in One Piece so far. And his lobby was incredible. Incredible. Frankie. <laughs> Frankie's a real one, I swear. Talk about a shot to end the episode off on. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. God damn it. All right, on to the next episode. This is 323. I know Kuzan had that conversation with Robin, but look at him just chilling. So we left wholeheartedly, but then Sengoku made him come back, obviously, you know. My grandson, so... Shout out, Kuzan. First time letting out the sail of the new ship. It looks absolutely incredible. The Frankie family will live on forever. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sanji spilling the beans. Can't tell a man's story like that. Come on. I love how Luffy's so <laughs> and Chopper. They're ecstatic. The Zoro knows as a man he needs to come back on his own. I respect Zoro for that. It's very rare he gets serious and starts yelling like this, you know? There are aspects of that that I definitely agree with, so. Straw has her a little different from your average crew, but as a principle, you know, I still agree. Very rare seeing Zoro get this serious. He's literally saying, I'm not letting you guys go. And he's right about that. And for Sanji to agree, you know it has to be true. Oh, 
That's crazy, man. That's crazy. We're not little kids playing pirates. He's, I mean, he's kind of spitting facts. It's hard to hear because we all wanted our one of our best friends, one of our homies back, you know, but the way they left off on, you know, and he had to assume an alter ego and a different identity for all of any's lobby just to avoid this, in fact, thing that Zoro was saying, so. W Vice Captain for sure. So they were waiting on him to come and but he never he did, but you guys closed the blinds that one day, you know. Obviously Luffy's sweating because he's still nervous. He wants Usopp to come. Everyone's just waiting. Any minute now, hopefully we see that boy coming back. Come on, Usopp. Get to running. That is not the first words you can say, Usopp. That is not the first words to say. I know I've said it before, but in terms of the actual visuals of the city, the way it looks and his design, that man Oda is so creative. I love the design of it. I love the look. As a captain, he has to stick resolutely to that plan, you know. That garp? San Goku made them come back, so they're they're really attacking. As you can see, the guy's barely holding it. There's a cannonball. Man, just picking it up like it's a baseball. Just... Meteor fist. I mean, they did say in stories, like back during the Gold Roger era, that Garp would go against him, Shanks, all the like. Garp is fucking him. I want to see Garp really throw some hands, bro. I won't lie. My power's been declining in his old age. Man, seeing him, especially being a vice admiral, I cannot wait to see more Marines fight. He'll fight the whole crew by himself if he has to. Had to take off the swaggy jacket. I did not think I'd be hearing this song after any's lobby. I love the song. Come on, Usopp. Come on, my boy. Bro, I never even noticed it has like a jet propulsion booster on the back of the ship. That thing looks incredible. Imagine Frankie hits up with a Cuda vent, you know, we go flying. Now, how is this going to work? He's still on water seven. We have to actively leave because Garp is trying to sink us to the bottom of the ocean. He still needs to apologize. So how is this going to work? How is this going to work? Zomboy is like, what are you doing? The ship's leaving. You got to go out there. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, I love the way that shot. Everyone's silhouettes except my boy. Everything's super desaturated. That wasn't you, man. That was so good, King. Even though that was one of the best moments of Annie's Lobby. I love that so much. They should have, but also one of the best moments of Eni's lobby. Soga King had some fucking moments in Eni's lobby. I won't even lie to you. Go admit that to him. Go apologize. You know that hurt. You know, damn sure that hurt. Great cuts. 
Reflect a couple of them. Ooh, with the support from Robin. I love the teamwork. We got everyone helping out this time. You give Garp just a fucking unlimited amount of cannonballs, that man will literally take out ships by himself. He's like a self-fleet. I mean, they do have very loud sounds right next to them, you know. Understandable. Let me say one last thing. As you can see, them just going more and more in the distance. Your chance is leaving you, my friend. He genuinely feels so bad, you know. Look at that face. Let me see Zoro's reaction. Usopp. He, Zoro wants him just as much as everyone else does. He just knows he has to do some things as a man, you know. Shout out Usopp, man. We need you back, my friend. That's the boy right there, man. That's the boy. I've never seen Usopp cry this much, man. I feel so bad. He's saying this fully from the heart. That's the longest stretch I've ever seen Luffy do. Oh, it's like he's literally reaching out like a handshake. Grab that motherfucker. Get over here, my boy. <laughs> They're such best friends. The Straw Hats would not be the same without you, my man. Get your ass over here. <laughs> now that we have a resonant sniper back, let's get the hell out of here. Such an amazing shot to end this episode on, man. Shout out Usa. All right, this is the next episode 324. Yeah, right. the people are trying to levy if they want to root for the Straw Hats or not. They are technically criminals, so Zombie doesn't care. Frankie fam. Let's see the, let's see the limits of this new ship. Is this why they got the cannon thing on the back? Are we going to get to see the limits of the new ship? Ooh. See, I missed the trio of Usopp, Luffy, and Chopper. They were always the funniest together doing the fucking jokes. I love that shit. I'm so glad we're back. Yeah, now that the sails are furled, we're going to be losing speed dramatically. So what are we about to do? Ooh. Name the ship. Better? There's no better time than right now. Oh, Luffy's name is going to be horrendous. Bear, polar bear lion. I don't know if it's a spoiler. I know Gold Roger's ship is named the Oro Jackson. Does anyone know the name of uh, Whitebeard or, or Shanks' ship? If it's a spoiler, don't tell me. But I love the look of Shanks' with like the red dragon on the front. Whitebeard's got that whale. Like Garp has the dog. Like I love the designs of these ships. Spoilers. Damn it. This is the ship that the future king of the pirates will be sent sa sailing, you know? It does kind of look like a sun. It is a lion, but a thousand rigorous oceans cheerfully, just like the sun. Ooh. Something related to the sun? Is it Iceberg's idea for the name? The pirate ship. Oh, I'm loving these shots. Thousand Sunny. Because we're going to rigorously, cheerfully sail across a thousand seas. Dumpling Gorilla Lion. Thousand Sunny. Boss Lionel's not bad. Better than Dark... I love how they have their individualism for their <laughs> Monsieur Sunflower. 
they're off. Shout out Iceberg for the name idea. And I love that concept. Just like the sun will cheerfully sail across any ocean anytime you're there, you know? Shout out Iceberg, man. I will never, ever in my entire life forget the Going Merry. I love the Thousand Sunny. Another guy. I forgot how Meppo's name. <laughs> You're about to see the Thousand Sunny in action. One of the probably the greatest ship that will ever sa sail these seas. Look at that shot of the Straw Hats, man. <laughs> Even Kobe's hype about it. They can't even tell. He is so far away. Yokozuna is such a real one, man. Made with a huge air cannon of the strength. Yeah, because you don't have to worry about the wood breaking, stuff like that. You can really push a ship to its limits. This is made of this atom tree. No way Garb's throwing that. Oh my god. Oh my god. You ever seen the Chomp Chomp from Mario? He literally threw one ten times the size. Coup de burst from the ship itself. Oh my god, that looks incredible. I love with the rainbow too. We don't have to worry about the ship breaking because of the wood. It's such a such a cool concept. You ever seen a ship fly like that? No, you haven't. Even fucking Kuzon's like, Woo! <laughs> oh my god. We're going back to Skypea? Damn near feels like it. Going to Skypea. Three barrels of cola, but it lets us fly one kilometer. Like I said, I'll never forget the Mary, but we'll be, oh, I love that transition. The brave soul will be inherited with Frankie on the team now, man. I'm fucking hyped as we're soaring through the air right now. Three barrels of cola for a kilometer of just, that was pretty sick. That's my grandson. Garp D chill for sure. Bro, Frankie, Luffy, and the rest of the Straw Hats changed Water 7 forever. Is Iceberg gonna help him build the Frankie house again? Shout out Iceberg. They may be delink. They're calling him Aniki now. <laughs> New Aniki. <laughs> Shout out. Shout out Iceberg, man. That is hilarious. An island in the Grand Line. Just an island. Commodore Smoker? Oh, I miss my boy, man. Let me see Tashigi, too. Look at my boy. What do you call the weapon he uses again? There's Tashigi. Oh, they're going to see the new updated bounties. Oh, everyone's seeing... Oh, I mean, maybe we see Mihawk, everyone else see him. Come on. What we need now is higher ranks. Are they about to have a training in montage too? We're going to see them in the new world. Oh, Smoker, I missed you, buddy. Oh, Barat. Oh, we are going to get everyone's updates. I missed you too, Zeph. What were their names? Carne and Patty? Something like that. All around the world. <laughs> That's hilarious. 77 million Blackfoot Sanji. I love that nickname too, like Redfoot Zeph, you know? That's so funny. 
Blue Usha Village East. Oh, he's the most successful one in East Blue. <laughs> I love episodes like this, man. He's like, we shouldn't be congratulating pirates and shit like that, you know? I love their love for Luffy. See, if only you said that 100 episodes ago, that would have been quite the reveal. What did he just say? Who is Dadan? Who is Dadan? Sierra Village, Usopp spot. We're going to see Kaya and the rest of Little Munchkin's reaction. Oh, she could tell. 30 million. Come on, they some real ones. They some real ones. Shout out Kaya, man. I'm so glad she's better and not sickly anymore. And I love that for Usopp. He's always got a girl waiting for him when he gets back, you know? Ooh, we get to see, um... Why am I for... Kuina? Is that her name? Her dad? Of course they take Zoro's inspiration. Why am I blanking on her name? Is it Kuina? Don't play favorite, Sensei. If you're faithful to your swordsmanship. I love that, man. I love that. Oh, Nami? We get to see, um... Nojiko. Oh, I'm so glad I'm getting refreshers on so many people's names. Oh, I love the mayor, too. The fucking spin wheel. Oh, he doesn't have it because it's at Bellamere's grave. Why is it so big? Oh, Ray, that's what he's complaining about. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's quite large. Oh, I love that, man. He really is like their dad. Oh, we get to go see Kureha's reaction as well. Maybe Dalton. What are they doing over... Man, I love episodes like these. Yup. Come on. Chopper's got the 50 berry bounty. I feel so mad. I feel so bad. Dalton, king of drum, man. Fucking insane. It's insane. <laughs> Shout out Kureya. Sand Kingdom Alabasta. We get to see Vivi's reaction too? Igaram. Chaka Pell. Yeah. I loved Alabasta too, man. It's really just like a trail down memory lane, you know? I love how people doubt him so much when they meet him, but once they know him, they are so confident he's going to be the king of the pirates. How magnanimous. Vivi has matured. I always say she's a real one. Land of white soil? Baltigo? Dragon? Obviously, they wouldn't know Dragon's his father. Sixty-six berries, cause Chopper. Let me see Dragon. I just want—I love seeing him in general. Live as you please. Various circumstances and strong spirits. World's most heinous criminal. People come to question the world they live in. The day we meet will come at some point. Monkey D. Dragon. Damn, he looks fucking badass. To Robin and Usopp and to our new friend Frankie, man. And to our pirate ship, the Thousand Sunny. Ganpai! It might be nine in the morning, but I would drink some fucking liquor if I had some. Just for them. Our next destination is Fishman Island. Oh, damn, man. Episodes like that just hit different, I swear. Hit different. Oh, I see Blackbeard. No! No preview for me. You know how it goes.
Isn't Ace's entire goal to find Blackbeard? Go back three days before the world was shocked and amazed. This is three days prior to last episode, essentially. It was an event that occurred on a certain island. This is Bonero Island on the Grand Line. No title for me. Yeah, you broke the golden rule. And it's Blackbeard's crew's first time meeting Ace. Captain Marshall D. Teach of the Blackbeard Pirates. Yeah, Marshall D. Teach and Edward Newgate. He's been... Okay, I want a little more idle talk, but I guess... This is so wild that Blackbeard doesn't even seem phased and or worried at all, you know? The will of D. That's not the thing you want to say to Ace. As a gift to the government, he's going to do that. Yeah, he's my brother. There we go. You just sealed the deal. I love that. Anything you do to him physically, he's like NL or Smoker. His body turns to fire. Oh my god, I love this boy Ace. Got his fire gun. They are very strong. You don't stand a chance against that man, but you you do, Blackbeard? He, I won't lie, I've only seen a little bit of Ace and his Logia powers, but anytime I do see it, I am thoroughly impressed. That boy is insanely strong. Ooh, he is fire. I love the way they're showing this, him just walking through the blaze, because he is the fire. Now, for Blackbeard to be as confident as he is in, able, in his ability to kill Luffy and be king of the pirates, like, he has to be strong. So I don't know if he's playing, if he's pretending. Ace is insanely strong as well. You're burning to kill me. You killed 4th Division Commander Thatch? Oh, he found a fruit? I need to see this book. The only reason? Okay, so I'm just trying to be able to mentally process this. So his crime was obviously killing a fellow crewmate, which was 4th Division Commander, because 4th Division Commander Thatch took the devil fruit that he wanted. The only reason he joined the Whitebeard Pirates was because he thought that would be the best chance to find the devil fruit he'd wanted, which he memorized from a book, which I need, need, I need to see this book. And the rule is anyone who finds the fruit can eat it. So he killed them because he wanted that fruit. <laughs> He had to have eaten it, so what sort of power? Because he's wanted it for so long. That's how the cookie crumbles. That's how the ball bounces. This ability chose me. What a... Logia? It's rare even amongst Logias? What the... Yeah, if Ace is made out of fire, what is he? Darkness? Shadow? Mine is darkness. The dark, dark fruit? What does that entail? Like, obviously, fire can destroy lots of things. What is. I'm so curious now. The dark, dark fruit. I just have I'm assuming that's what it's called. Because Ace is the fire, fire. Or the flame, flame. Something like that. 
most evil power in devil fruit history the dark dark fruit please this was i was never not expecting to get this fight for another like 100 episodes i won't lie we'll get caught in the you know it's got to be strong if his if his underlings are that eager to dip out of here I love how the darkness like covered up the sun. I really enjoy the way they're animating it. How fluid this darkness is. Kind of just resembles black black fire. On some Amaterasu shit. Darkness is gravity. It has the power to pull everything in. Oh, you feeling like Chuya? So he he can make like black holes. He's showing you an example. Okay. I am very curious. Black hole. Literally. Oh. Everything does just implode and crush down. Into the darkness. He can literally destroy whole villages. With one attack. Our gravity uses its limitless power to condense and crush them. I expected Blackbeard to have a devil fruit, just because, like I said, his ambitions were too great. But I was not expecting it to be the most evil devil fruit in history. Your village is literally gone. He sucked it. Pause. He just leveled this entire area. What happens to everything that gets condensed and crushed? He's about to show us. He can spit it out. It's like in a dark void. He can spit it out in its rubble at will. So he just wanted to flex his strength. Uh, Firefly. Fiery doll. He doesn't give a fuck about your demonstration. See? I'm curious about Logia on Logia action. And he can just absorb and suck in the fire, too. I wonder if it's not like Smokers or NLs or Aces. Or he can turn his body into the darkness. Unlike the rest of you. Wow. Even if you are Logia, it sucks in everything, even your body. Because, like, even if you turned it into fire, it would still suck you in. Pause! What? It lets it so you can't turn your body into the typical Logia element? Bro, after we just ended Eni's lobby, we're immediately getting into some crazy shit. What the hell? Another thing that my darkness drags in is... What does he mean by that, though? Like forcing Hatsu on someone and, and Hunter Hunter. That's really strong. Yeah, if he is able to suck you in and touch you, no matter what power you have and how confident you are in it, you can't use it at all. Dark gravity, dark, dark fruit. Okay. And then what are you going to do? He just sucks you in again. Pause. They're both landing crazy hits on each other. I love how he made like fire spears. Yeah, you got the darkness, you got the holy fire against you. So I guess the best way to fight Blackbeard would definitely be a ranged attack. But even then, he could still absorb it with his darkness. I can't say they're evenly matched because I really don't know, but at least Ace is putting up a good fight against a broken Devil Fruit power. He's not going to... That's the last thing he's going to do. I respect it. 
respect it. Die in darkness. Flame commandment. That looks like a Dragon Ball Z level move. Like some Frieza shit. Flame Emperor. The sun or the darkness? The, oh, that's a bar, I won't lie. The sun or darkness? Only one will win. I don't... I love the way that... Oh my... Yeah, I know this is a spectacle, but I would be getting the out of here bro that is the craziest attack i've seen in one piece yet both sides i just got goosebumps the narrator saying some shit like this oh hell nah i don't even get to see the outcome will be a trigger for god damn so those episodes, I know I've said this the last like 10 sessions we've had of One Piece, but those episodes were absolutely incredible. From Frankie's emotionalness, everyone talking about people forgiving him, him forgiving himself, to Robin's dose floors, if you know, you know, goddamn, to Usopp, finally apologize. That was such, like, there's a whole, uh, having the ship name, Thousand Sunny, just seeing it fly off into the distance to end it off with ace v blackbeard blackbeard has the dark dark fruit i love the risk and reward he said the power was like made for him i thoroughly enjoy that concept of a logia in which one of the main op abilities of the logia is you can turn your body into that element henceforth you're so defensive in a lot of aspects but anything you turn your body into whether it's wind whether it's smoke fire lightning darkness gravity will still has an effect it still will suck it in and once it sucks you in pause you no longer have your powers and then like damn damn what and i love the way they ended it on such a cliffhanger this took place a few days before it said the outcome of this event would lead to one of the like a oh bro oh lord oh lord i don't know how we can end it on that and then get in the thriller bark next one i am so excited for arcs to come people are saying we still haven't even gotten to any of the great sh like and i don't even this shit's too incredible man this shit's too good hopefully you guys enjoyed the session if you did please leave a like on this video let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section check out that patreon for up to eight episodes ahead the full length versions all that jazz i appreciate you don't forget to tell somebody you love them don't forget to drink some water. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.